So friends, with Tucker Carlson being fired by the Fox Net from <clears throat> So friends, with Tucker Carlson being fired from the Fox Network and with Georgia District Attorney Fawny Willis announcing that indictments are expected in July or August, it looks like both truth and justice are trending. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, it turns out April 24th, 2023 was a good day for both truth and justice. Truth, because Tucker Carlson was fired by the Fox Network. And justice, because Fulton County, Georgia District Attorney Fawny Willis announced that we can expect indictments for the Georgia state election crimes committed by Trump and company. We can expect indictments in the July, August timeframe. First, let's do Tucker. Here is the recent reporting by The Independent. Headline, Tucker Carlson was abruptly fired from Fox News on Monday morning in direct order from Rupert Murdoch. And that article begins, Fox News' abrupt decision to fire its top rating host, Tucker Carlson, came directly from Rupert Murdoch, according to reports. The right-wing network told The Independent in a statement that it had agreed to part ways with Carlson days after it agreed to pay $787.5 million to settle a defamation lawsuit with Dominion Voting Systems. We thank him for his service as a host and prior to that as a contributor, the statement said. Carlson was informed his show was being axed on Monday morning, the New York Times reported. The decision came directly from Mr. Murdoch, the Fox Corporation chairman, sources told the Los Angeles Times. Fox News had been severely embarrassed by revelations in pretrial court filings about its coverage in the aftermath of the 2020 presidential elections. Carlson and fellow hosts Sean Hannity and Laura Ingram privately mocked regular guests, including Donald Trump's attorneys Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell, while continuing to promote their lies and conspiracy theories to their audience. Carlson called Mr. Trump a demonic force and said that he hated the former president passionately in text messages to an unknown Fox employee two days before the January 6th riots, court documents showed. Quote, we are very, very close to being able to ignore Trump most nights, he added. I truly can't wait. And friends, I really got a kick out of this post. The last statement Tucker Carlson made on the Fox network, quote, we'll be back on Monday, close quote. As one organization posted, Tucker Carlson's final lie at Fox. Okay, friends, let's head on down to Georgia, where Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis has been investigating the Georgia state election crimes of Trump and company. And we now know that she is preparing to have the grand jury return indictments in the July, August timeframe. And she's urging law enforcement authorities to prepare for how Trump supporters might react to those indictments. Here is the reporting from the Atlanta Journal Constitution Headline, DA says indictment announcement coming this summer in Trump probe. And that article begins, Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis on Monday said she would announce this summer whether former President Donald Trump and his allies would be charged with crimes related to alleged interference in Georgia's 2020 election. Willis revealed the timetable in a letter to local law enforcement in which she asked them to be ready for heightened security and preparedness because she predicted her announcement may provoke a significant public reaction. In the letters, 
Willis said she will announce possible criminal indictments between July 11th and September 1st, sending one of the strongest signals yet that she's on the verge of trying to obtain an indictment against Trump and his supporters. And friends, now let me briefly read the letter that District Attorney Fawny Willis sent to Sheriff Patrick Labatt, the Sheriff of Fulton County, and it's dated April 24th, 2023. Dear Sheriff Labatt, my staff and I greatly appreciate the efforts you have made to increase security at the Fulton County Courthouse. While these efforts have addressed security needs related to several high profile trials and investigations, as we have discussed, the need for vigilance will increase. In the near future, I will announce charging decisions resulting from the investigation my office has been conducting into possible criminal interference in the administration of Georgia's 2020 general election. I am providing this letter to bring to your attention the need for heightened security and preparedness in the coming months due to this pending announcement. Open source intelligence has indicated the announcement of decisions in this case may provoke a significant public reaction. We have seen in recent years that some may go outside of public expressions of opinion that are protected by the First Amendment to engage in acts of violence that will endanger the safety of our community. As leaders, it is incumbent upon us to prepare. I will be announcing charging decisions resulting from this investigation during Fulton County Superior Court's fourth term of court, which will begin on July 11, 2023, and conclude on September 1, 2023. Please accept this correspondence as notice to allow you sufficient time to prepare the sheriff's office and coordinate with local, state, and federal agencies to ensure that our law enforcement community is ready to protect the public. As your strategic planning process begins, collaboration with my investigative leadership team is vital. My team will be in touch in coming days to set up appropriate conversations. My staff and I are grateful for the work of the Sheriff's Office in ensuring the safety of the public during this time. Thank you for your efforts and we look forward to working with you. Yours in service, Fawny T. Willis, Fulton County District Attorney, Atlanta Judicial Circuit. So charging decisions will be announced in July or August. Now, District Attorney Willis did not expressly say, oh, and by the way, Donald Trump and his criminal associates will be indicted. But she didn't have to. With her announcement, she said, vigilance must increase. The need to protect public safety must increase. Why? Because recent history has shown us that some segments of the population, when they don't like an announcement, they resort to violence. That is not exactly a subtle reference to what happened on January 6th. So indictments are coming. Indictments have already come in New York. Indictments are coming in Georgia. Indictments will come federally. May even be that we can finally say at long last, justice is coming. And justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again soon.